Welcome to Quick Tech News, where we keep you updated in the world of tech without wasting your time. This comes perhaps as an unexpected bit of news, but apparently the Xbox Series X and Series S are both better at emulating the PlayStation 2 than the PlayStation 5. Both Xbox consoles have a developer mode which is what allows this emulation software to run. Now from my limited understanding, it's not super simple to set up, and there are some caveats. For example, the maximum ROM size of a game can be 2 gigabytes, which means not all games can be run this way. But the impressive thing here is that for the first time, an Xbox can emulate a PlayStation. And in the case of the Series S, only for 299 US dollars, which is rather impressive. The emulator is called RetroArch, I'll link you to a video that explains everything in far more detail if you're interested. The PlayStation 5 on the other hand is very limited when it comes to backwards compatibility, only letting you play PlayStation 4 games. Sony does, however, have the option of playing PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 2 games using their PS Now game streaming service. In other positive news, Ajit Pai, the FCC chairman in the United States, will be stepping down on January the 20th. I don't talk politics on this channel, but getting rid of this man is in the interest of everyone who is on the internet. He is most famously known for trying to dismantle net neutrality, the principle that all traffic on the internet must be treated equally. It exists to stop internet service providers from blocking or slowing down your access to websites or prioritizing their own services over a competitor's content or services. Finally, it prohibits broadband companies from offering fast lanes to companies who want their content delivered faster than that of a competitor. More recently, Pi has come under fire for supporting Trump's attempts to use the FCC to punish social media platforms for censoring conservative voices online, something which the companies have denied. The FCC's net neutrality repeal and its efforts to regulate social media companies will likely be overturned once the Biden administration takes control. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like the video, subscribe and tell your friends to help get this channel off the ground. Thanks and see you next time.